Hello everyone, Whisper here. Today I'm going to start a new video tour series of the game Worm Unlimited on TeamTorga.com's PvE server. Uh, starting with episode 1, um, I'll go to and subsequent episodes, I'll go to the different settlements and do the tour, but this is what I'm going to call episode 0, where I'm showing you the website as well as other resources that might be useful to you when playing on our server. Um, so this game again is called Warm Unlimited and you can only get it through Steam. Uh, the most useful resource for the game in general is the, the official wiki which is uh, warmpedia.com and here you can find all kinds of resources for the game now this website is uh, a lot of the information does apply to Warm Unlimited which is the standalone version but just keep in mind that some of the information is uh, only applies to Warm Online which is their online version uh, now from the to get to our teamtoga.com's website what you want to do like, is if you don't already have a bookmark is go to teamtorga.com and you want to go uh, to the specific Warm Unlimited subsite which you can access either through clicking on here up at the top for example and this will bring you to the Warm Unlimited subsite or Alternatively, of course, if you want, you can go to the site directory under the useful information and link, and you can go. You can go to the PVE site. Now, on the PVE site, the home page will have um, news and information regarding the web server, but. Um, and then on the left here, you will see useful informations and forms. So if you click on the first link, it will tell you briefly uh, welcoming information as well as give you our Discord channel. And just some basic information like where you are when you first spawn in the game. The second link gives you the server rules and settings so it tells you again what the server name is when you go go through Steam when the server was last restarted here again our discord information and there's some simple rules that um, I ask that you read before you go get too far into the game as well it is a complete listing of the dedicated server setting um, the third page, the third link is the weekly map. Now here, it shows you uh, a weekly map of the server and what, what it does is it pulls the information directly from the server database and it goes down to the tile level. So you always want, if you want to see the latest, you can either click on this image here or click on the last map update date. It also gives you an archive if you ever want to go back to see what the server looks like on a particular time. Now when you click on this link, what it will give you is a server map. And so you can zoom in or zoom out like you as you want. Uh, just to give you an example, when you first spawn on the server, you will spawn at this location here basically. Uh, it's J24 on the in-game map and from here you can go anywhere on the server you want almost because there will be red rowboats here that are basically server boats that you can go along. Now starting with episode 1 the plan right now is I'll go along here and um, we'll get to Torgo Prime first and I'll do a, a tour of the city and in subsequent episodes I will visit some of the other um, interesting, well, what I find interesting deeds like uh, Lakeside, 
and some of the others. So again, this map is updated every Monday, basically. So let's go back to our website here. Um, so that's the important thing. Now the other thing is there is a uh, women group on our website too that um, you can join. And when you join, it will basically give you information that um, just normal visitors cannot get. For example, under the docs page, if you go to the PVEK map, it will give you a, a K map. And in this case, um, the last time it was updated was on July 17th. And what you want to do is you want to right click and open in the sh a new tab. When you do that, you open this cave map here. And so you can zoom in and zoom out. Now, this is basically the underground map. So if you look here, you'll see that it more or less matches the above ground map. So you can see, for example, from here, when you go across Yellow Brick Rook, you go into a tunnel. And a tunnel basically starts right here. And from there, you can go all the way to Torgo Prime. So you'll pop out right here, which is on the above ground map, basically right here. So again, this will make more sense when you're actually in the game. But these are two resources you can use in addition to the in-game map um, where you can help you discover where you are and this will show you um, some of the major underground projects like you see here Victor Drive has a major tunnel going on here this is over here at Lakeside it's basically underground roughly right here it's pretty impressive uh, because again everything on the server is uh, player made. Only thing that's GM made is those red robots at the beginning. But beyond that, everything you see in game is player made. Okay. And so lastly, when if you want to play the game, what you want to do is launch the game. And what you want to do is just type in Team Torga. And here you'll find our PvE server and our PvP server. Uh, most people do play on the PvE server, just FYI. And this is what this map here is showing, is, is the PvE server. There is also a PvP server map, but um, for obvious reasons, the Ds aren't shown on that map. Okay, um, hopefully you found this video you know, useful, and again, like I said, this is uh, episode 0, In the next episode uh, will be episode 1, where I'll start at the uh, spawn point, when you first spawn on the server, and uh, from there I'll go down Defender Road, go through Yellow Brick Road, go through the tunnel system here, and I'll pop out at Torgo Prime, and I'll give a tour of the different buildings in Togo Prime. And then subsequent episode I'll go down the, this road and visit some of the other settlements. So again I hope you find this video useful um, and hopefully you'll watch the subsequent video tours of our server. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.